Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, so today is the last day of week four. How crazy. So remember that you guys get lessons Monday through Thursday and then Friday acts as a catch-up day. So if you're really struggling with something or you, for whatever reason, just didn't have time to do something one day, that Friday is going to be your day to catch up and get back on track. Um, we're also going to use Friday as a day to meet together if you need it. So if you're watching the videos and you're doing the work and you're still feeling like, oh, I have no idea how to do this, that's okay. Um, so Fridays I'm going to use as like a check-in day. So I'm going to um, set up a sign-up sheet on Google Classroom for you guys to sign up for a time that works best for you to meet with me and maybe a few other students. Um, to chat about what you guys are struggling with for ELA. Okay? All right. And then on that note, let's jump into today's lesson. So today um, we're going to be we're going to be primarily focusing on writing a concluding statement. So yesterday we worked on topic statements and the day before we worked on evidence and elaboration. So remember, evidence is the fact, and the fact comes from the book. So our whole point in writing this essay is to compare the similarities and differences between Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph's beliefs and values, so what they think is important. Um, so on Monday, you guys answered a few questions, and I compiled your answers into one document, and that's where the evidence came from. Those were all the facts that you guys came up with from the book. So I pulled a piece of evidence and it's Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph both care for their people and want justice for those who they have lost in battles. That's a fact from the book, right? And then the elaboration, the whole point of the elaboration is you want to, you want to explain how that relates to their beliefs and values. So Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph want peace for their tribe from the U.S. government as they did from, for hundreds of years before the white settlers came. So it's important to them to live on, live in peace and live on their land, right? So I explained that a little more in my elaboration. I explained why they believed that. And then for my topic statement, I'm taking that overall main idea and I'm condensing it into one sentence. But it's really important that I'm explaining what kind of paragraph it is, right? And who I'm talking about and what the main idea is. So I said, although Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph, who I'm talking about, right? Had many differences, they share the quality of compassion. So when I say they share the quality, I'm saying that they're similar, right? They're sharing something. And then compassion also means caring, which I said in both my evidence and elaboration that they care for their people and they want peace. So that's my overall main idea. So my topic statement should state who I'm talking about, what kind of paragraph it is, whether it's I'm comparing their differences or I'm comparing their similarities and also the overall main idea. So what is the point of the paragraph? What am I trying to tell my reader? I'm trying to tell my reader that Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph both have compassion for their people. They both care for their people. So your topic statement is the overall main idea. And the concluding statement is just rewording what you already have in your topic statement, okay? So if you have a strong topic statement, you stated who the um, paragraph will be talking about, Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph, what type of paragraph it is, they had many differences, but they also share quality, um, and the overall main idea, then that means you're ready to go to that concluding statement. If you're missing one of those three, then you need to go back and edit and revise your topic statement again. 
Um, I also left a few sentence starters on Google Classroom for you guys, and I'll pull that up and so you guys can see where they are. So earlier today, I posted on Google Classroom, and it says, I'm noticing some of us are having trouble with our topic statements for today. Remember that a topic statement is the main idea of the paragraph. So you are talking about Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph both care for their tribe. The main idea is that they both care. So you need to include that into your topic statement. So I gave you a few sentence starters and you guys are so welcome to use that. If you guys are watching this video and you're feeling like, oh, my topic statement doesn't look like my sentence topic statement. Okay, that's fine. So let's go back and let's edit and revise it. And you can use these sentence starters um, for that. So the, the sentence starter for the similarities paragraph, sound of running feet and Chief Joseph are similar because, and then that's where your, main, your overall main idea would go. Sound of running feet and Chief Joseph are similar because they both have compassion for their people. Woo, done. And then, same thing for the differences paragraph. Sound of running feet is different from Chief Joseph because she believes in blah, blah, blah. Okay. So if we go back, so that will be on Google Classroom for you guys to utilize um, if you guys are feeling really stuck on how to frame your sentences for your topic statements. I'll move myself back over here. Um, okay. So now I want to make a concluding statement. So a concluding statement is just rewording what I already have. So in this, in my topic statement up here, I said that they had many difference, but they, differences, but they share quality. So down here, I might say sound of running feet and chief Joseph are similar because they care, right? Because I don't want to use the word compassion again. I want to use a different word. Or if I'm really stuck on a different word, another thing I can use is a thesaurus. So I could say that sound of running feet and Chief Joseph care. So they're responsible for their tribe and how they do. No. Or I could just use the word care, that works too. Um, so because they are responsible for their people's well-being, right? Because they're caring for them, they want them to succeed, they want them to be safe. So they care for their people's well-being. And I need an apostrophe. So remember for your topic statement, you need to have who you're talking about. So Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph, what type of paragraph it is. So whether you're comparing the similarities or the differences and then the overall main idea. And if you're still really, really stuck, go back to Google Classroom and look at that post that I made of um some sentence starters that might help you once you have your topic statement it's really easy to reword it for your concluding statement okay so by the end of today my expectation is that you have a topic statement evidence elaboration and a concluding statement for all three paragraphs which means by the end of today you'll have most of your essay done. Woo! 
All right. Have a wonderful day. I will be around to answer any of your questions. Please make sure that you sign up for any times. Um, if you would like to meet on Zoom or Google Hangouts for Friday for any extra help. All right. Or I'll be around today if that works better for you. All right. Have a great day, guys.